Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 15. Don't forget to hit that like button. Alright, so, uh, last episode I was going to take a nap. Get out of that tree. I was going to take a nap. And I kind of napped a little bit, I guess. It's still raining, but I figured I better come out and cut down a few more trees since I didn't have anything else to do in the rain. But I think I'm done now. Yeah, getting dark. Um, I'm leasing that. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I I've already bought paid I've already bit the bullet and paid to have it so I'll keep it another day or so I'm going to harvest some more grass so Speaking of grass messy sheep I'm always worried I'm going to get a scoop full of straw when I drive by here, but I haven't yet, so... It's getting dark. Man, that really doesn't help. It just kind of washes out things that are in front of me. I'm not getting it. Got the first piece. There we go. We'll bounce it. Get it. We got it. And every time I do this, I give the pigs a uh, root crop and canola, soybean, whatever that other one is. Which gives me 100%, so that's good. I may not even ever have to... Hey, I've got uh, wool pallets. I need to push these out of the way. I learned my lesson the other night when I, when I didn't make sure the area was clear. And I missed getting like 7 to 10 bales. So we'll leave that one. Push these over here. We may have to sell them. Come on, bucket. There we go. So I have the mulcher on because I had one tree that I cut down and all it left was just a little itty bitty sliver of a trunk. And I figured I'd better grind it right then and there or I would lose it and I'd never see it again. And it would cause me problems. So. Well, I think I'm going to call it an evening. Have some supper, go to bed, and we can hit it again first thing in the morning. Hopefully the rain will be done. Forecast says it's going to be gone here in a little bit, so... Alright.
Okay, coffee pot was off. All right, let's go check out our fields and see what the crops look like. Oh, by the way, I uh, did a little more harvesting of trees last night. Oh, and there goes the field again. First thing in the morning. I like that. But yeah, I, I've got a few more trees to clean up. So... I'll get to that sometime. Right now, we need to go... find our harvester. What did I do with that last? Seriously, what did I do with it? Nice looking corn. Pigs will like that. I remembered to move the bales last night. Boy, pigs are making noise this morning. Seriously, I'm going to have to send the police out looking for my combine, my harvester. Did I lease the harvester? I didn't own it? I never bought it. I leased it. Well, I'll be darned. Silly me. That's why I can't find it. So, let's see. Uh, what did we use? We used a Nova. So if I wanted to buy it, it would be 105. What did it cost to lease? 5,000. See, I think I might just lease it again. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I really need to buy my own. Prove I'm a true farmer, have my own stuff. Um, okay, so, let's see here. We will buy the Nova. I'm going to check one thing. Be right back. Okay. I checked the mods and they're over 150,000 each, so. We will purchase the Nova. It is now ours. And we need a header for it. Well, we're going to need a couple of them. Um, I had to go with this one. I always wondered if that one would work. But not gonna not gonna trust it. Try it. Well, I could buy the corn header. Because it's nineteen. And that one is thirty-two. I can lease it for a thousand six. I'm gonna have to take some wood in. Well, I am going to get the corn header so I can get started on the corn.
Okay, well, I'm going to run down to the store and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh boy, that was a long ways. All right. Whoops. Oh, I love that sound. And now for the slow drive back home. But on the way, I can show you the timber area that I cleared. So you saw most of this area. I widened it out just a little bit more. But then I started coming down the road, which you saw right around this corner. But I scooped back a little bit farther and got to those big nasty ugly trees. And then I came around to the front here and was just trimming along the outside edge. And then I dove back in and followed the field edge and took it back. So we could almost start widening the fields out, but not quite. And once again, I had money earmarked for something else. And I went and spent it on something I hadn't planned, but it was needed. It's always a step in the right direction. Alright, let's see here. Get lined up. There we go. I'm actually going to hang one, one column on the outside. Yeah, there's a ghost plant out there. I don't know if it helps or not, but... Okay. Sheepies, I'm coming. I'll clean out your feeding trough. Pigs got messy last night. They're not usually that bad. One nice thing about this is when I clean their trough and put it back in the stall, I get 100% productivity because it gives me credit for soybean canola sunflowers and potato sugar beets so that'll bounce up to 100% productivity for a little bit so hey he actually harvested this corner oh that's because I had it hanging out one one edge. Well, your straw is looking pretty light there, piggies. It doesn't look bad on the meter.
Ooh, they took it all that time. Time for another scoop. Whoops. Sorry about that. I get my controls messed up every now and then. Boy, a full bucket sure doesn't take much of a dent out of that. And this will fill it up. There we go. And I'll have that pile. Whoops. I'll have that pile when I come back. I guess I should go get rid of some wool. What do we got for a wool price? 716. That is desirable. 760 is the highest I've seen, but hey, that's within 50. What do I have I can haul wool on? I guess I'll have to do it on my... log trailer. here. I need to get the trailer and the lift. I'm curious what one of those bales will get for us. That'll be nice when all these trees are cleared. Nearly a full tank. Already. Okay. Let me drop this trailer off and I'll come back. Meh. <laughs> um, I'll leave it at an angle here. Eh, that's going to be in the way. I'll pull it up here. And that's what I want to detach. Okay, let's wait right here. Okay. Right there's good. Put that out. Ooh, I 
could have swore I fit under there before. Oh, that's right. This doesn't like this trailer very well. I don't like the looks of that. Okay, I like that. So, Giants, anybody watching? Don't know if it's the harvester or the wagon box. Somebody has a problem. that right there that should be out of the way but he should be able to get to it there we go I didn't check to make sure he was really empty empty. Well, we'll find out if he's if he's full right off the bat. All right, let's get these on there somehow. I did get this guy with a hitch on the back here so we could get a trailer for it if we wanted to where am I going right here all right well how are we gonna do this let's get this one out of the way And this one out of the way. Let's see if we can nest these together like that. Get the lift on top without knocking them over. like that. I have three sets of these, so how am I going to do this? Well, I'll just shoot it straight in the hole. Like that. I hope they unload. All that good. And we'll grab this next one.
I'm going to see if I can't just put this on the end and slide the other ones forward. That'd be a good way to load this trailer with these. I think my lift will fit in there just barely. Looks good. Let that down a little bit. Oh, might have let it down a little too much. There we go. Having a little bit of an issue going forward, but actually I think that'll be far enough. And we are one... Oops, don't break the window out. We are one bale short of another full pallet, but we're going to sell it. There we go. Oops, messed it up just a little bit. see here I can lower that down maybe I can hook it back just like that like I knew what I was doing sometimes I'm impressive not very often All right, whoa, way overshot. He's going to be done with that field before I get back. All right. And guess what? I did these the wrong way. You're probably yelling at me the whole time. Son of a gun. All right, well. No, don't want that. Yeah, he's almost full again. Did I get one? Nope, I got them both. There, I got one. Slide it up here. Come on. Straighten out. Fly right. Ah. Being too picky though, aren't I? Not really. It's lined up good, then you don't have any problems. Well, that's not even close. That's close. All right. Right there. That's wonderfully looking. Swing it around without knocking the trailer over. It's not quite straight, but will it go in there? Kind of, sort of, maybe. Straighten it out. Oh, he's full. I'm coming. Right there. That's beautiful. Look at that. Slid him forward. That is how you haul wool. Oh, did he say he was full or that he was blocked? Ninety-nine percent. He was blocked. Well, we'll unload you anyway. Since you're just about full anyway. This will make the piggies real happy. Am I going to get enough to even coat the bottom of the wagon? I 
I don't know why I'm even using the wagon. I should just drive it over to the darn pig trough. What am I thinking? That is silly on my part. Holy cow. Let's see. We need to have one hanging on the outside. Just like that. All right, let's take some wool in. Hmm. Just barely caught that last pallet. It should be alright. Famous last words. It should be alright. Alrighty, let's go see what we can make for three pallets. Six pallets, sorry. I could probably put eight on here. We get more sheepies. Maybe we can get eight per night. That would be nice. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to take these. Uh, to the spinnery. Is that what this is on the right? Or on the left? Sorry. We'll see. It is. Come on, didn't all go. 2,700. not going. Come on. There you go. So, how much was that? Sold. Sold something. Sold bale. Sold wool. Four thousand two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Well, it's better than nothing. Four thousand dollars we didn't have. We have enough we could lease the header. I really don't want to lease the header though, I want to buy the header. So I will have to load up a load of logs and take them in. I said logs, not hogs. We don't have enough hogs to start selling them yet. That I hope will be some money. I might have invested in that large trailer a little early. Oh well, I was excited to buy it. And my 60s. Hey, we got a wool pallet already. And my 60s flower power. Uh, tractor to pull it with. Get rid of this. 
I gotta remember to just drive the harvester over and dump it in the pigs because I'm not taking it any any of it to sell it so Come on, get up there. Ugh. Container weighs more than the corn does. Just for a record of what we harvested, I am going to load it all into here. So we can see how many liters we actually got. Huh. Just does not like it. It's like it's because it's on an angle. You see that? When the harvester rocks, it goes, and then when it idles back down, it quit. But there it kept going. I don't know. Now we're going to have to find a home for this stuff. Oh boy, I'm going to need to have another shed put up. Where do I want to put this? Well, for the time being, let's just set it right here. Let's go give the pigs some corn. Oh, I hope we have enough room. That'd be too bad if we have to go buy more pigs. have it highlighted. There it is. Well, they were hungry. They took it all. Why is it still going? Why is it still going? Oh, because it had that little smidgen in it. That's not going to come out. Piggies. Corn. Yeah, we're... <laughs> We need a bigger cornfield, by golly. But I guess that's going to last them for a few days. And I think we're going to have to end the episode there. We will continue the harvest next episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.